Hi everyone and welcome to how to program your now robot with Python tutorial video number 4. On this week's tutorial we're looking into how to get your robot to listen and use its speech recognition function using Python. So if you want your robot to listen to every word you say then please stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboField.com. Now on this video, we're looking to teach you how to program your now robot to use its speech recognition with Python. So instead of using the drag and drop box system in Choreograph, we will implement a Python behavior. Hello now, how are you? Shut it. Oh, how rude. Rude robot. Ooh. Right, hi guys, and uh, we are now having a look at another Python tutorial. This is the speech recognition Python tutorial. So, jumping straight into it, uh, we've got our now, so there he is, he's connected to Philip. Um, yep, that is brilliant. Give him a little wave arm, yep, we can see it's moving around, so we know the robot's there, and we will just take that off. Uh, right, so what we do is we first want to bring in to the uh, function box the speech recognition um, behavior. So this is underneath audio, voice and speech recognition. So we drag that in and we will connect up the noodle as normal. So one noodle into there. Now what we want to do, if we go into the little spanner and we want to actually put some wording in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Philip uh, say John and Chris in there. And don't forget to put these little uh, things in here as well, otherwise uh, the robot will not distinguish between the two. So we've got Philip, John and Chris, and those are the names that we're going to be, uh, the robot's going to be listening for. We're going to put the threshold down to 10 again. Uh, ha have a play with the threshold guys, like I said, and from the main tutorial with the choreograph version of this, with the drag, bo drag and box section, but ha have a play with that but we want to use 10 for this one. Then, to get into the Python side, so as normal, we right click uh, the box and we go add new box. And here we go for the Python true box. So let's give this a funky name. So let's call it uh, Python speech uh, identify, identify, and just put that in there for the description as well, make it nice and easy. Now what you want to do is we want to play with the input. So you have the input, output parameters, inputs, outputs and, and parameters. So we want to have play with the input. So to do this, we go around to the middle button in the middle and we hit that. And here we will change the type. Instead of having to bang, we want to change this to string. So this basically allows the uh, string to come in to the Python box. So obviously he's going to say his name, he's going to be listening to a name, the Philip, John and Chris, so that's the string that we want to listen to. So this is why we've got to enable it. So we OK that, and then we OK the box. So now we've done that, so his input is accepting strings, we take a little noodle and we attach it up to the Python script. Now, what we want to do is now do a little bit of Python behavioral uh, text work just so we can get it working. So we click into the, uh, the box and as you know it pops up with the script editor. Now what we want to do here is we want to have a play with the, um, the def on put on start. So again just delete the pass and delete uh, the other bit of um, text in there and we want to put tts proxy equals our proxy and then in there we want to put our text to speech and close brackets on that one and then TTS proxy uh, with a capital P proxy uh, dot say and again we can open up the brackets and we wanted to put hello I am P. And then we want to close the brackets. I've missed something out here. Uh, yes, actually we want to put the um, exclamation marks here. Brilliant. So how this works is that the robot is going to say I am and then whatever contact the speech recognition box hears. So if it hears me say Philip, I'm Philip. Here's me say John, I'm John. So it says Chris, it says I am Chris. So the P there is there designed to uh, the variable that actually comes into it. 
So we have done that, so we'll just close that box. Now, as we did in the main tutorial before with the boxes, we need to create the say box. So if he doesn't recognize it, then he can tell us. So we click into it, and we just put something simple like, I did not understand. Nice and easy. Out of the box, and then we connect it up. So again, this is the input if he understands it, and then this is the output if he does not understand anything. And so we don't get any looping. Don't forget, guys, we drag the noodles in to the cross, it, uh, the cross at the back, so the, the robot's not constantly hearing. He would, otherwise, he'll loop and loop and loop. Uh, this way, he'll only hear once, only listen to it once. Otherwise, sometimes if he starts saying stuff, he starts listening to himself and repeating. So hopefully, uh, we should all be good with that. So let's give it a go. Um, he's connected up. Uh, yeah, he's already connected up, so let's hit play. Don't forget, we've got the, um, the three names in there that he's going to be listening for. So let's give it a go. Philip. Hello, I am Philip. Brilliant. You can see it's working, right hand again. John. Hello, I am John. Brilliant. And then the last one. Chris. Hello, I am Chris. Oh, <laughs> says Chris a little bit funny there. So just out of interest to make sure that it uh, is all working, uh, let's have something else. Cat. Hello, I am John. Okay, so that's going to be a play with, with the threshold, I think, just to get that. You heard Cat as John, which is quite interesting. Um, let's have another way. Book. Hello, I am Philip. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have a play with his threshold, so we'll see when he... Uh, uh, when he's listening, he, he doesn't pick up the names. So, uh, we'll, ha well, I'll leave you guys to have a play with that to uh, try and refine it so it works correctly. But as you can see, the, the actual Python uh, piece is working perfectly. Uh, that's it, guys. Thanks very much. Well done, guys. You can now get your now robot to listen to every word you say by using your Python programming skills. Now have a play with behaviour to see if you can get your now to recognise other words and names and have a play with the initial worded string. Have a play guys and use your imagination. If you like this and want even more free video tutorials, news and information, then please visit us at robofill.com where you can download the latest free ebooks and get insider information and techniques of how to become a robot expert. Now if you like this tutorial and want to see the next one in the collection, then please hit the subscribe button and keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the NOW robot. If you have any questions or want to see any other related tutorials then please write me a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.